hello friends so in this video i am going to show you how we can make this party report right now you can see when i am going to click on this party report we don't have this page so we have to create this page party report list so i am going to copy this page name and i am going to create page inside this admin new php file yeah party report list dot php and inside this we are going to just copy and paste of this return product list code because we need to use that design that's why and now we are going to keep this if but we are going to remove this else part first so you can see the else part is removed now right now we have only if part that is fine now here we don't need this end date and here we need to give heading for select company name and here we have to add drop down so we have to use select and option but in select we have to give some class this is the bootstrap class M name company name and we are going to load your company name dynamically so here we have to look mysqli underscore query dollar link and here we have to write select star from party info this is our table let me check the name of table yeah part info that is fine and we are going to load this business name so here option then slash option and between that we are going to write Equal dollar business name. So I am going to copy this column name. I just copy column name and paste here. And here we need only one button. So here we are going to change the name. No problem. We can use this button here so no worry about it okay so let me show the design i am going to click on this part info party report and here you can see we have drop down and here we can see the button and this is the clear search now when we are going to press this button we have to load here our detail but don't worry about this error because this is the old code so here we have to change now i am going to change here we have to load data from purchase master so let me open this purchase master table yeah we have this purchase master and we have to use this all fields so here i am going to use company name purchase name first let me copy and paste and then we can remove this underscore from heading Yeah, right now this is fine let me change here our table name purchase underscore master
square there is a party name yeah where party name is equal to our drop down value so yeah this is fine now here we have to set this same thing that is fine now here I am going to click on this and here you can see we got all the details of this party name noble info and right now we only one party so here we can see that party info so this way we can create party report list and next video I am going to show you how we can create expiry report thank you so much for watching my video if you like my video then please like it and share it thank you so much again